Hey guys, ready for another product reveal? How many of you like to cook with fresh herbs? I know I do. It's a great way to add a lot of flavor without adding a lot of calories. And we've got some products to help you do just that. We uh, change the cam camera angle and we'll get right to it. Okay, so first we've got a new herb stripper. And you can see that it's got different holes for different size herbs. I couldn't understand what this large one was for until I read the instructions and it is for kale. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so um, here's some rosemary. I find it, I don't know if this is actually what you're supposed to do, but I find it easier to go backwards against the grain. And so I'll just show you how this works. You just slide this onto the appropriate size hole and voila, you get other herbs all off the um, stem. Okay, so that's the herb stripper. And then we've got an herb grinder. Okay, so you can take this part off. This uh, little ball is in there to um, kind of keep your herbs uh, down near the grinding mechanism. So you just fill this up with your herbs. This is basil. Okay, and um, you can look on here and you can see these are actually plastic and not metal. The bottom, you just take this off and then the herbs can come out the bottom. So I don't know if you guys can see how this works. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to take this, just put this on here, and you just twist. See that? And then you just give it a shake to get more of the herbs down near the bottom. Look at how easy that is. And you can grind this, you know, right over whatever you're cooking, or you can grind it into a little prep bowl to, to um, store it that way if you'd like. If you want to store some of the herbs in here, this pops off and then this base fits on and becomes a cover afterwards, which is quite handy. Sometimes you want to store your herbs, you want to freeze the herbs, right? So you can take your fresh basil, mix it with a little um, olive oil or a little butter or whatever you like, and you can um, fill these herb uh, freezing trays. These are silicone, so like everything that's silicone, it's nice and flexible, um, stain resistant, and heat uh, and it, it, it excuse me it takes temperatures more more extreme temperatures hot and cold so you can put this through the dishwasher it'll never dry out and crack and it can go through the, into the freezer for years and years and years and it's going to hold up um, now you don't have to store your frozen herbs in this after they've frozen for about four hours you can pop them up put them in a ziploc baggie and label the baggie and then you can wash and reuse this the lids you can write on if you'd like. If you are storing things in here for an extended period, you can write on here with dry erase marker what exactly is in here. Not just good for um, storing frozen herbs, but um, I've heard people um, putting baby food in here as well. And then uh, when you're not using it for frozen things, I've also heard of moms putting uh, different colored paints in here for, for crafts for either themselves or their kids. So that is the freezer being traded. Freeze. No, herb freezing trays, easy, easy for me to say, and they come to, to a set. We also have some new knives. Um, our color-coded knives have been redesigned. Instead of them all being green, now they're different colors. Um, there's still a, a, a stainless steel blade with a non-stick coating, um, ergonomic handle, and they each come with their own uh, very durable plastic sleeves. I like the colors on them. Um, if you've got company over and you need a knife out to slice up um, you know, anything, limes and lemons for drinks, you know, you can use one that might be a little more festive colored than just a, a standard um, knife that might be just taken out of your drawer. Actually, these are really easy to find too when they are in your drawer. And of course, with the sleeves, it protects uh, both your fingers when you're fishing around your drawer for just that right thing, and also it protects the blade from getting chipped when it's in your drawer. We also have redesigned the flexible cutting mats. They still come free to a set. They are the exact same size. Um, the bottom, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's one big non-stick grip pad. So it's on your counter, it stays put. Um, they are still three different colors. So if you want to use one for raw meat and one for cooked meats, you can do that. Um, and also they each have some little tidbit of interest on each one. So this one is all about dicing. I don't know if you can see it, but if you want to julienne something, here's the width that you're looking for. A large dice, a medium dice, and a small dice. So when you're chopping your vegetables, you know exactly the width that you're going for. Then the blue flexible, flexible cutting mat, by the way, they all have measure marks on the top here in inches as well as centimeters. 
Uh, this one kind of tells you about the different knives that, that you've got in your kitchen and what you would do, the job you would do with each of those knives. And then the other color-coded mat, well, it's got all the um, herbs on it right now, but it has portions on there related to your thumb or your hand. So when you're looking for to measure something quickly, you don't have to measure the tool. It'll tell you kind of if you're in a rush, but you're working in your portion control, it'll tell you when your family knows kind of how to do that um, on that flexible cutting mat. So there you have it. And I'm going to switch the camera angle again. Ta-da! There we go, finally. Got a good look at my arm for all that time. Anyway, so there you go. That's our next product reveal. And be on the lookout for ways to earn additional tickets because I'll be doing that drawing pretty soon. Have a great day.